Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren, one of the Nuka Chiropractors here at the Upper Cervical Group in Alexandria, Virginia. So did you know that at least 50% of Americans suffer from low back pain? In fact, it's one of the leading causes of disability or reasons why people miss work. So there's a couple things that can cause low back pain. We can have different accidents or injuries, or we also may have low back pain attributed to repetitive use, such as sitting at your desk a lot during the day in a bad position. So what are some things that you can do to avoid some of that low back pain? One of the things is making sure you're having good posture while you're sitting at your desk. So making sure that you're not slumped over all day. You wanna make sure that that low back is nice and supportive and everything is sitting in that nice neutral position. The other thing that you can do is make sure that you're taking frequent breaks. Sitting a lot during the day, even in perfect posture, is not something that our body was designed to do. So set a timer, some kind of reminder for yourself to get up and move during the day. The other thing that can be attributed to low back pain is a weak core. So we really talk about strengthening those core muscles, but it's more than just doing crunches for your abdominals or your obliques. Other core muscles include your diaphragm and your pelvic floor muscles. So working on your breathing by doing some belly breathing exercises or doing some core strengthening exercises such as um, kegels for your pelvic floor muscles can also help you to build up that core so that you're not experiencing that low back pain. You can also look into doing a yoga class or a Pilates class that really focuses on building up those postural and core muscles. Now, if there's other things that can contribute to low back pain, the biggest thing that I see in my office is that your head may not be on straight. And I know that's funny to think about, but what we see is that there's misalignments that happen through the spine from a trauma or injury that causes slight head tilts one side or the other. And this can lead to postural deviations throughout the body. So if you're dealing with that low back pain and it's not something that's been going away, maybe you've tried a couple of things, you don't wanna keep taking different over-the-counter medications, or maybe someone is recommending surgery, it's good to look into chiropractic as a conservative course of care. So what we can do is evaluate your posture, see if there's something that we may be able to help you with. Because what we see is that when the head isn't on straight, your hips usually aren't straight. So when we have that hip tilt, that can lead to a lot of that stress on that low back. So like I said, I can assess those postural imbalances, do a very gentle, specific correction to restore that posture to your spine, get you standing and healing in a better position. And that's where we find patients in our office finding relief from their low back pain. So if it's something you're interested in, take a look at our website, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you more about how Nuka Chiropractic may be able to help your low back pain.